Good morning, grab your cup. I have my cup, I have my pup, and it's the perfect time to talk about a different perspective on trauma. So when you hear the word trauma, most people think terrible things, and it's the thing that's the problem. This thing happened to me, and now I can't get over it. It is never the trauma that's the problem. It's always the thing that we decide about ourselves. It's always the, the meaning that we assign to that incident that then shapes the rest of our world, the rest of our life, unless we heal it. So it's things, it could be, as I said, very difficult things. Many people have those. But it could also be something like a teacher in first grade saying something to you in front of the classroom that makes you decide something about yourself. I'm really stupid. Oh, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut from now on. I'm never gonna speak up. I had a client who um, was like anxiety, panic attacks, really. And was a mom and a business owner. And she was like, I, you know, I don't really have anything in my childhood. I don't know why I'm always have this anxiety. But when we got to work together, <laughs> um, when we started to work together, what she saw was actually what seemed like a pretty normal thing. It is a normal thing. But for her, as the youngest of four children, somewhere when she was very young, somebody made a joke about her in the family and it became sort of the family joke. It became lovingly, teasingly shared and she often laughed about it, except it was the number one thing that was driving her panic attacks as an adult. Because the teasing joke that was said in love, what she had decided when she was little is, I'm really stupid. I'm, cl I'm really stupid. And so everywhere in her life, what was always in the background is stupidity, like, how can I do this if I'm stupid? So she was always trying to cover up that thought about herself that stays in our body. It triggers our nervous system to stay on. When the nervous system stays on, we're in fight or flight when there's no reason. It stays in our body because if I'm stupid, I can't handle this or that or that or that, right? I can't handle life if I'm stupid, which got decided when I was eight that's the way that trauma impacts us now. That's the healing we have to do.